Today we are playing golf with a golf club that's that forgiving some of the best players in the world use it, yet mid and high handicap golfers avoid it, and it's in that bag. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to another YouTube video. I'm joined today by Chris. Chris, how are you? Oh, very good. Chris, what have we got today? Because this is something which people wouldn't necessarily have to spend a lot of money on. Oh, definitely not. Oh, check that out. Now, this is a club which, again, some of the best players in the world use clubs very similar to this, yet people we teach day in, day out don't. Versatile club, some would say. You could say this is the godfather of forgiving golf clubs. Oh before hybrids were even a thing. Um, so we'll cut to the chase, hold it up Chris, it is a seven wood, it's a Ping G10 seven wood, 21 and a half degrees, and we're playing golf with it today to see what we can score with it here at Royal Waterfront. Waterfront Golf Course. This is one of the tightest golf holes in Yorkshire. We're playing this hole, then one of the most difficult par threes in the whole of Yorkshire, and then a wonderful par five to see what we can do. Correct, Amondo. So, I'm going to give you the honour, Chris. I'll let you go first. Oh, wow, so, the rules yes. are, we have to tee off with this on every hole. We have to use it if we're using anything more than a 7 iron, which I think is fair enough. And you also have to use it around the green if you miss the green, because you're going to show us a few tricks, aren't you, later on? Correct, a few shots you can play that you wouldn't think of. Used by Victor Hovland, used by Matt Fitzpatrick, used by... Tyrrell Hatton. Tyrrell Hatton. So many amazing golfers using, not necessarily the G10, but a 7 wood. Yet, yeah, Bob from down the road and Mike at the club won't use it. Correct. Right, Chris, I'll give you the honour. No tee peg. No tee peg. Just clip it off the top. Nice. Fairway finder. Not too high in that wind either. No, it's taken quite down. A little divot. I'm going to tee up. I'm going to try and play a bit more of a stinger with it, actually. Show just how versatile these clubs can be. See, it's up and This stink. shaft reminds me massively of Adam Scott. Yeah, he had that in his tightless woods. This grip's awful. Oh, that was a good shot there, I'll give you that How one. How good was that? Stinger, seven wood. Oh, I really enjoyed that. Look at that ground interaction as well. Can we just... Oh, ground interaction again. Just show people how much of a perfect strike that was. Oh, wonderful. So, as you can probably tell, guys, a club that we're both quite excited about using today and also a club which I think a lot of you guys could get excited about using because you can get an absolute steal for these on eBay, on Facebook and anywhere because... Yep. Nobody really wants them, do they? And I find it amazing that people don't want them when they are so helpful. Yeah, especially when you come, well, any time of the year. You know, if you're hitting three irons into par threes or three irons into par fives or even into par fours, don't always get the height. It's very much going, oh, I need to try and do something with this. Seven wood gives you the height. It launches a little bit higher. It's a lot more forgiving than the three iron that's like a butter knife down behind the ball. And these days I get a lot of people come and say, just can't find a hybrid that suits the eye. Exactly, and this is actually more forgiving than a hybrid because it's a bigger head, the centre of gravity is further back, therefore that makes it that little bit easier to launch, which is why you don't necessarily need 25, 26 degrees of loft on it, 21.5 will do. Right, what have we got left, Chris? I'm up on the left-hand side near the path, it actually, I thought I had more room there, but clearly not. You're One, in the fairway. 140. So for me, eight iron here, even with this breeze, but still travel quite well off the tee. But it's done the job, hasn't it? 340 yard hole, winter into a strong wind. And yours again, little knockdown, shows that you can knock it down. You've gained probably five, 10 yards on me. Look at this, he's played this one down. Not sure he meant to. Ooh. Oh, delightful. Pin oh. high right. You know, I maybe just passed, but that'll do. <laughs> right, pitch mark right next to it, so we've got no run at all. Uh, I'm going to play a similar shot to you, Chris. Little eight iron, knock it down. Are we placing? Can I place here? Ooh. It's a bit dubious, you're in the semi, but... No, we'll not then, we'll not. I mean, knocks it past me and then tries to sneak some relief. I've seen it all. <laughs> it's only the first hole. Oh, nice. Come back. Stay left. Well, it's social. 
Yeah, they're right next to each other, aren't they? Enjoyed that. Right, two pretty decent shots there, both below the flag, which is important on this hole. You can really hear the wind getting up now as well. It certainly is. I'm quite happy that I've uh, hit that green as well. I know it's your shot, the seven wood, but it's not necessarily mine here. Not around the edge of this green, but yeah, two good shots there. Two good looks at uh, birdie. Bit of left to right, right to left. Straight. Oh, it's fiery. Oh. I mean, it's lucky it hit the flag because, I mean, the camera was in danger more than it going in. If that wasn't in, it was going in. Oh, right. Is that good? I'll give you that. Ah! Oh. <laughs> never up, never in, Christopher. No, crown holes, crown holes. And that's level. Two pars, though. Ooh, and if you had it a three iron off that tee, things might have been different. Yeah, especially if you mistook that three iron, it might have been another three iron in. Par three, 240. Oh, tee peg. Yeah, oh, someone's had a nightmare there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. That should have used a seven wood, shouldn't they? That definitely didn't get there either. So, 230 yards uphill. Probably need to get all of this. Yep. But a safe shot, really. Yeah, again in the summer. It's going to come on with a higher landing angle. This is not the biggest green. So think if you've got a par three at your course, that's a narrow green, it's a long shot, or even if it's a par four or a, into a par five, a higher landing angle is going to make it easier for it to stop quicker. Three iron on here might land on the green, run through the back, and then you are brown bread. Oh, what a shot that is, by the way. Oh. Back to you. What a club. Oh, delightful. That's close. It's majestic. That was never moved either, did it? Bloody hell. Feeling all right. What a seven wood. I remember the days driving the six green at Royal Sitwell. Just a soft seven With wood. With this very club? That was the one. Again, I'm going to try and take a little bit of loft off it, show how versatile it is. Oh, yeah. Launched nice and well. It's not bad, it's gone up a bit, but again, that turf interaction, beautiful. I know it fell over, but take it, right inside. I, I dare say I'm using this again for the next shot, so stay tuned. Funnily enough, this is still in the bag for people who keep asking, the old seven hybrid from the match we had. Uh, and I unfortunately lost with that last put, didn't I? That's going to have to stay in there now, Chris, for a while. It's in until the 1st of January. Do you think the seven wood might go in your bag again? Seven wood's back. I might get a nice fresh head cover. Oh, and a grip. Yeah, and a, and a new grip. <laughs> right, so Chris is at the front edge of the green. Snuck on. Uh, and unfortunately... Hmm. And that's got a jockey on it as well. Perfect glove right. for the job. Perfect. It is actually the perfect glove for the job. Loads of bounce on there, plenty of loft. I'll let you film it front near the flag. A lot of people would use a 60 from here. Try and play the high tariff shot, landing it a lot closer. You can see James there. And get that ball rolling. All day. All day. Going to go a lot closer than his 60. Out of interest. Oh, he's going to show us a 60. <coughs> we get the honours. What a privilege. Oh, just need the camera this time, not kicked it. 60 in. Again, landed a lot closer, it has run out further, so seven wood. Yeah. That's the shot. And in fairness, Chris, I didn't quite catch the seven wood that well, and the 60 degree. You flushed. Yeah, so forgiveness, ladies and gentlemen. You, I thought you might want to use it from all the way back there. I say hopefully the putt gets closer, but you never know. Right, so Chris has got this birdie put on the par three. It must be all of 55, 60 feet. He's been known to pull the cat out of the bag. He's got the legs. He's got the legs. He's got the line! <laughs> That's two times now. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Zeus. You know what, Chris, I'll even give you that, oh, mate. Oh, the generosity. How's that? Would you like it in or out? Out, please. Ooh, out. I thought you might have gone for that one, though. Well, the green was against me. Yeah, the trusty seven wood. For an up and down with the old seven wood.
You know what, that rolled incredibly well as well. Rolled incredibly, maybe you should have needed. Seven heaven. Yeah, you can't believe that holds its line actually. You think if you go middle of the cup. Anyway, one down. First miss green, one down. Good three. Vamos. Par five, he strides onto the tee. I've never seen him walk with as much passion and purpose. Could get there, seven wood, seven wood. Do you reckon we could? Mm, it'd take two big hits. Well, I feel like I've got two big hits in me. Although it is downwind, so we might be... Uh... No run though, you're gonna have to fly these probably 250 each. Oof. Maybe not, maybe 230 each. Lost me tea. Oh, is it? Oh, oh. Time's hard. Times are hard, friends are few. Not even got a T. Certainly launched it. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't looking. I've just been offered tickets to football tonight. All oh, right, well, a little bit off the toe, but launched a little bit higher than I'd expected, but that'll be down just the right hand side in the rough. Might not be able to get there. Right, where, where were you? Sorry, I wasn't listening. I'm just in the right rough. A little right. bit toey. So downwind, every time I've played this so far, I've tried to play it down. I'm going to send this skyward. Skyward? Like that. It's, How good is that? It sounded as good as it did when it was new. To be fair, these old pingwoods sound miles better than the new ones, I think. No, I don't disagree. That's why the uh, 425 has been retired. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is absolutely position A, and Chris has just hung on to the fairway, actually. Chris, I've done you again there. You have? Yours was, mine was off the toe. I didn't oh, we were off the toe, was it? Into well, this is, this is a perfect place to hit it again, I think, surely. About 2.30 out, downwind, get it flying, stop quick, in the eagle, and then move on to part two. In the punishing semi. I think I'm in the semi, so I'm not going to place, because I'm going to rise above it. You would be asking it, oh, can I place? No, not me. Not gonna lie, I was gonna let you place that, but not now. Right, nice easy one. Hopefully, over that bunker, should get as close. That Just is needs to draw launched. in. What a club. Was that Terry as well? No, I struck that bang out of the middle, but it, it did never. It never came back. Good luck it? chipping with it from there. I will be. Well, I've got all the green to work with. Yeah, good shout. I actually marked that as well. We're getting told off, you know, for all this clean and place. Oh, Every video. England. Does this get there? This will get there. Set it off the crane, just right of the flag. Should be perfect. Ooh. Started right. Coming back. Wasn't the best strike either. I've fatted that. Tried to get behind it a bit too much. But we've gotten away with it again. There's the forgiveness level. I can't help but feel like I've wasted a golden opportunity there to draw it back to level. I think so too. <laughs> right, one very short, which was my duff, and Chris is up on the right hand side there. Have I, have I got to use that there? It is you. Well, yeah, but you've got a nice apron to run it over. It's a glorious looking apron there. We've got some lovely uh, wooden posts behind there as well, very Pete Dye. Yeah, Pete Dye, or trolley deterrents. Say something, doesn't it, when you've got to put them there to stop people taking a trolley on the green. <laughs> right, good news is it's lying well. <coughs> Down the shaft a bit. I remember back in the day as well, this shaft, everyone was like, oh. oh uh, and they, they still haven't made them with that finish on, have they? No, a bit of a different feel to it. It was in every wood at that time, wasn't it? Ah. Oh. Go on, go on, go on. I mean, that is a god-awful shot, but it's about four feet for birdie. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to argue with it. It was, but versatile. Forgiving, you could say. He's not getting inside that, no chance. Very much about trying to make the game as easy as possible for yourself. Over to you, Chris. Right. It's attacking. It's very attacking. Oh, what a shot! Great shot. Easy work, easy work. That could be two. And he actually is inside mine there as well, so um, yeah. That's annoying. 
jockey on it as well just just count it in for the mud on the side right come on need this we cannot go to two down in part two is it flag in flag out gonna have to be out i'm always out if i'm uh all right out it is oh, i've lost the shoe and so now i've got mud on it <coughs> that's never a good sign just a little left or right of this one Not much in it. Get it rolling. Must. Oh, what did that hit? Winter greens. Did you not counter him for a bobble? Until it was there, that was centre cut. World's against you. It's probably Keith's fault. Keith retiring at the 31st of December, guys. He's had a great innings. Let's congratulate Keith on making James Robinson miss. In we come. Nice, easy one. Two up. Well, he shoved it. He I shoved did. it. I'll see that in. I did shove it. Why? Because yours bobbled in yep. this direction. Oh. oh, only just. Right. Never in doubt. So that is one up to you. One up to Chris going to part two, guys. Make sure you go and check it out over on Chris Dennis Golf. It is his club, so he should win, really, but we'll see how it goes. We can only hope. We can only hope. Guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.